Hello everyone, it's Carrie again here today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to make old light up card and I'm going to be using some of the new effortless shimmer paper from Crafty Meraki. And this is beautiful and awesome paper. I'm going to show you the different ones that I have here. I have that Cupid's Canvas, the Arabesque, and this one here, which is the Floral Filigree. So let me show you a little bit of them. These are printed with toner. So these papers are gorgeous. The designs are beautiful in and of themselves. So of course you could use them just like they are. Or if you are ready for a little bit of shimmer and shine, then add a little foil to these, run them through your laminator or your mink machine and create a beautiful, beautiful background or foiled accent for your project. So see how beautiful those are. This one here is the arabesque and look at these designs and patterns. They are beautiful. Let me move that one away just a little so I can show you these better. But look at all these designs and they are gorgeous when you foil them as well. I'll show you some of my foiled papers in just a minute. Let me show you this Cupid's canvas. I love this one as well. Look at these fun designs with the hearts and the rainbows. This one says love inside the hearts and that other one says love you all over the paper. So you get multiple designs of each or multiple sheets of each design. Today I wanted to show you how to use this. Now these do fit in my mini mink machine. However, I don't have a transfer sheet that's large enough because they won't fit in that way. They'll only fit in the short on the short end first. So I'm going to be using my larger mink machine off camera. This one does not fit in the screen. So I will be folding these all off camera, but I wanted to show you they are eight and a half by six, which is a really great size because not only can you make an A2 card if you cut them in half, but you can also make a slimline card with them. You could do a, a mini slimline card. You could do a tag with them, a bookmark, whatever project you have in mind, these are large enough. And so I love that. Now for my card today, I'm going to be using this heart paper, but I didn't want to foil all of it in this same pink color. I just wanted to cut it down so I could foil a portion for my card and then I could use the rest of it in a different color. So I'm going to foil part of it with this pink and then I'm going to foil some of the leftover with a purple. So you can see I cut this down to exactly how I wanted it for my card panel. Now I'm gonna take a smaller piece of foil. I'm going to make sure it fits on that card panel and then I'll use my rotary trimmer to easily cut that foil away and then I'm gonna foil that, run it through my larger mink. But I also wanted to show you that these deco foil sheets that come in the tube, they're large enough to fit on these papers. And so you can foil an entire one with the same foil. So that's really great. This one I'm gonna use this beautiful periwinkle color. So I'll just cut that down. So what I like to do is cut all my foil at once, and then I run them all through the mink machine or laminator at the same time. I'm letting that warm up now there all are some deco foil that are matte foils, which I adore. And then I thought this rose gold foil would look beautiful on that design right there. So I'm gonna cut the rose gold for this design here. I thought, why not foil quite a few of them at the same time while I've got my mink machine warmed up. Those ones that just rolled across are the matte foil. So it's not quite as shiny, but you can still see that it, I mean, it looks like an ornament to me, like one of those antique ornaments kind of got that feeling. So let me show you, look how pretty this turned out with the green on that floral filigree, so pretty. I like to loosen it up a little with my bone folder sometime. This one is the rose gold on that arabesque paper. So beautiful. Here's one of the Cupid's canvas papers with a rainbow foil. I love that one as well. And don't throw away that extra foil. Now look at this one, oh my goodness. Don't throw away that extra foil because you can use that on another project. And I will be showing you how in a future video real soon. 
Today I just wanted to foil some of these up and turn one into a card so you could see how fun they are to foil and how beautiful they are on a card project. Now there's the one we're going to use today. That's the love from the Cupid's Canvas. And we are going to create a light up card and the light just bounces off and plays so beautifully on the foil as well. So I wanted to show you how easy it is to create. I'm starting off with this beautiful stamp set from Crafty Meraki. It's called To The Tropics, and it's got some really cute toucans in this set. This one that I'm using is the one where they're beak to beak with a little heart above them, so super cute. And I'm gonna color the one on the right with greens and turquoise colors, and the one on the left in some pinks and purples. And I'm trying to match that background foil that I've used to kind of pull it all together. So quickly, I'll just show you some of my coloring process here. I'm not gonna leave all the coloring in this video, but I will show you just a little bit because look how fun this is to color. This, I mean, these images are just so cute. So I've got some shades of turquoise, starting with the darkest shade, blending that out with the mid-tone, and then blending it all the way further with the lightest tone. And then I'll usually go back in with the dark tone again to put back in some more shadows and give it more depth. That's just my coloring process. It's pretty simple. You just have to pick three colors that work well together. So you can see the colors here on the screen. I've got BG18, BG13, and BG11 for this one here. Then I'll color up the one on the left off camera, but you'll be able to see just how fun these are. So I've got the purples here, finishing that one on the left. And now I'm gonna take a heart die from my stash, and I'm gonna partially die cut this image. I say partially because I'm gonna cut the top part and then the bottom part of the heart, but I don't wanna cut off the branch or the leaves. So I basically just cut the top part first, putting my, my cutting plate over the top part, and then I ran it back through putting my cutting plate back again over the bottom part and leaving the leaves and the branch intact. So now I'll just take my scissors and cut the rest of that off. So I've got the branch running all the way across there. Now, if you don't want to do the partial die cutting technique, of course you could just cut the whole heart out and cut off those leaves and the rest of the branch. I just kind of liked the look of those still on there. So that's why I did that. And this is gonna go over that foiled piece. Now I have a one light from Pear Blossom Press. That's gonna be our light up element. And it's just one light that I'm using this time because I want to just light up that heart. Now I've got this stamp set here that says press me and I'm going to use that press me, push me or press me, we'll see which one I end up using here. I, I wanted to use the heart and then stamp the sentiment that fit inside of it. So in order to color up that heart, I used one of the Copic markers that I used on the beak of the toucan on the left, and I'm coloring my paper, and then I'll stamp that heart right over it. Now I did this because whenever you press on a card and it says press here, you're going to get fingers touching that quite often, and I didn't want it to be white. I didn't want it to be on the white heart itself, which is why I colored this one and then heat embossed the heart and then the sentiment Looks like I picked the push here sentiment for this, and that way that, that's gonna show them where to push on the card to make the light light up, but it's also going to protect that white card stock as well. So hopefully this card will last just a little bit longer. Adding these lights is really simple. All you have to do is tape it to your project where you want it to go. Make sure you put that battery in first like I showed at the beginning and then add a little stamp that tells them to push here or push me or whatever you have there and then add some foam tape all around. Now this foam tape is special double thick foam tape 
And I'm putting this around so that it doesn't press on that button the entire time. So if I put this directly to the card, it would be too tight. We want it to allow for the space so that the light is not on all the time. It's just on when you press the button. So I've got the foam tape all around. I put a little bit of double sided adhesive on the light itself. So everything's going to stick really nice. And then I'll attach that to our card panel that we foiled up earlier and then add the little sentiment that shows where to push on this card. Just like that, and I'll let that dry. Look how cute the light is lighting up that little heart. It also sheds a little light on the foil and makes it really pop. I love a light up card, and we're gonna finish it off with some of these beautiful gems from Crafty Meraki. The ones that I've chosen here are gorgeous. They have like an opalescent quality to them, and they're a light green, this one here. I will link it in all the description below what, what color this is that I used, because I can't remember off the top of my head, but it is a beautiful, beautiful green. Like, I got these and I thought, oh, they're so much more beautiful in real life than in the pictures or even in the video. So... They are really pretty opalescent light green, and I'm just gonna add those with my Crafty Meraki Gem Picker here. This tool is really handy for adding gems. And then I'll go ahead and finish off the card by adding that to the card base. And there's the light up, the little light up heart. They've got an electric kind of love, I think. <laughs> and that is just so cute. So it's very simple to add that light to any of your card projects and think of anything that you have that would light up and be very cute. And there is our finished project today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll be back real soon with more card making inspiration. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>